I would like our students to have more entrepreneurial mindset in their lifelong learning to prepare them for future jobs that don't exist at this point. Innovation Challenge is to help students turn their innovative ideas into commercializable patent or business ventures. So this year, we encourage all of the engineering students to participate in our inaugural Engineering and Innovation Challenge, and uh, we hope in the future we'll have more students from other colleges like College of Art Sciences and uh, Business. I see a lot of engineering students have a very innovative ideas, but they really don't know the market size or what's their competition and how to do market analysis, how to make a business model canvas. So with business students coming in to help students learning this aspect would be helpful. And also with uh, science uh, major, those students can help them with uh, biomedical application and other industry applications from science perspective. Innovation Challenge was made possible by Elevate the Nexus Higher Education Grant from Elevate Venture, a venture capital firm located in Indianapolis. So the purpose of the uh, Innovation Challenge is to promote entrepreneurship. All of the engineering uh, seniors uh, are invited to have uh, one semester long training on how to turn their capstone projects into a pitch deck, including problem statement, uh, market size, uh, sales strategy, and business model canvas, and a workable prototype. So uh, all of the students are invited to submit their pitch deck to a panel of judges consisting of faculty and uh, administrator in the university. So we judge based on the strict rubric on the uh, clarity and the scope and the impact of their projects. Two finalists were selected to present their final pitch presentation to the Board of Trustees members. So one winner is chosen to be the inaugural Innovation Challenge winner this year. So Indiana Tech's Innovation Challenge is all about trying to find the students who are willing to create some sort of an entrepreneurial venture that has a technological advantage over what's been done previously. This challenge comes with a grant as well for $1,000 for second place and I think $2,000 for first place that students can receive to continue work on their project after they've won the competition. So it lets them kind of get a head start in the business game. In engineering, we know how to build things like robots. We know how to make a circuit board. We know how to make an audio amplifier. We don't know how to do a business evaluation to figure out if our product will actually work or sell. So it was really nice to be able to figure out how to do those things within this challenge. So in the future, if I ever decide to do an entrepreneurial venture, then I'll be able to. This competition for me has added a lot of experience because it's allowed me to step back and it's great because it's given me a lot more perspective in getting a business set up. Because if you have a good idea, you need to be able to communicate it. You need to be able to find partners, you need to be able to find people who hold the same values there, who wanna see it succeed. So being able to actually have this project give me the chance to see that confidence that I do have has helped actually make me a little bit more well-rounded professionally. The advice I'd give to any students who are going to approach the Engineering Innovation Challenge, go into the challenge with something you're passionate about. If you're an engineer, sure, you don't have the business experience, but you have plenty of people who are willing to work with you that will have that business experience, who will have that know-how. It was extremely helpful with being able to learn how to get set up and how to apply myself for the Engineering Innovation Challenge. So. Do your research, use your resources, you'll do fantastic. I would like Innovation Challenge to become our annual tradition in the university. So hopefully I can have more participations from other colleges and also community partners. So then Indiana Tech would become a to-go place for local entrepreneurs to have their prototyping uh, work done and have their entrepreneurial support. And I would like to have more participations from other colleges and to have multidisciplinary teams and also I would like to have more community partners uh, to serve as mentors or promote their business ideas as well.